Okay, guys. Six o'clock in the evening. We have a really big two hours ahead of us. We're gonna try to get down. This tarp needs to get out to the field, unraveled flat, and start solarization. Before we can do that, we have to mow. We have to get out the BCS with the rotary plow to help add some weight, and we gotta move sandbags. We've got an hour and a half, just myself. Let's see if we can get it done. First thing I'm gonna do, start pulling this plastic out of the barn. We'll attach it to the mower, and we'll at least drive it in the area, and then we'll start mowing. Okay, so we just mowed this down. We did two passes with the mower at its lowest setting. We did two passes with the mower at its most medium setting and two at the highest. So we're gonna undo this Caterpillar Tunnel plastic. It's about 40 feet by 130. Um, we'll weigh it down with some sandbags. Hopefully we can get the BCS and the rotary plow around it once to throw some dirt on it. All right, well that piece was not nearly as wide as I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna go grab another piece of black plastic, lay it next to it. It'll be an awesome comparison of solarization versus just the silage tarps. But I better get on that because we're losing daylight. So see you in a minute. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze got some sandbags we've got the silage tarp hooked up let's drag it back to that area unfold it and hopefully get weights down before anything gets blown away there are a lot of voices drowning in the sea there's too many voices talking back at me there are a lot of choices
Thank you. Whoops. So I'm taking the mower back in. We just got a bunch of sandbags put on. Uh, I gotta grab the BCS with the rotary plow. Get that out there. Sun's getting pretty low. We still have a little bit to do though. So we might as well walk and talk here. So on the BCS right now, we have the, it says ground blaster, but it's called a rotary plow. And it's got this thing on it. And what it's gonna do is dig a trench and shoot dirt from the trench over on top of our tarps. And that's gonna help us weigh them down. We don't use this a ton, so we'll see how it works. The shadows are long. This attachment here is called the rotary plow. It is used to kick dirt from over on this side to up on top of our tarp here. And that dirt will act as a weight. I gotta stop talking. We don't have much time. Sun's going down. I've only used this thing two other times. So let's hope it works well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change this from the transport mode just by pulling that out. And then this will go down like that. So once you pull it out of transport mode, I want to go pretty deep. I want to get as much dirt as possible. So I think we're going to go right there on the last setting. Put our cotter pin back in. Maybe. We'll put our pin back in, lock it, and we should be good to go. All right, so we did three passes with the BCS here. And honestly, I'm not very impressed. I've never used it for this job before of putting the dirt on top of the tarp. Um, I don't think it did a very good job if I'm being honest. So I'll definitely need to get some more sandbags. I was hoping that, I'm, I'm very low on sandbags. I was hoping to get away with it, but that's just not that much weight. It'll get me through the night, but I don't love it. I am still gonna go down there and try. I'm sure a lot of it's user error. Like I said, I haven't done this before, so I'm gonna go give it another try on the other end here and maybe I'll do it a little better this time. So I definitely feel like he did a better job this time. I kind of, I pushed down a little harder on the back and that seemed to help. It's still not a ton of weight, 
I'm not super happy with that part, but I do like that the edge is covered. So I feel like the wind will just kind of breeze over instead of getting like locked up under the edge. It's definitely good until tomorrow afternoon. We'll get some more sandbags, but I'm excited to see how it works. Like I said, this is the first time we've used this tool for this application. And although it wasn't great after the second run, it's definitely worth trying a third time. So don't forget if you guys like small organic farms and you believe in them for the future of farming, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe below, check us out on Instagram at in season Omaha or big love ranch. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a good one. One last thing today. Oh, it's going to be cold. Ah, hate that. Got to put the sides up. We got to run the sprinklers and they're cold. What are you guys doing? Write it in the comments. What time of day is it? What country are you in? Ah, oh, that's so cold. All right, this is the last thing of the day. They're almost done. We're all most done. Deuces.